Hey, what's going on guys? I have been very busy with doing renovations and sorry if you can hear I got tree trimmers in my yard right now. I got um, more painters coming later on in the afternoon so I don't have time to stream but some people have asked if I'm okay what I'm doing. Am I still trading uh, when I'm coming back? I just wanted to give you a quick update. I am still trading. Still taking withdrawals. I'm going to take withdrawal here on this account. I got 1100 Take this full amount out. Haven't got to the uh, live account yet, but maybe I will get over that soon and do that. Take a request here. It's on my, I got a 75K account. <clears throat> All right, I also, and Take a withdrawal here. I've still got my top step and I got a trade day account now. Um, I'm just trading less often, getting a couple trades in a day, calling it a day. That seems to be what works best for me. Um, when I trade on stream, I over trade. I trade out of boredom. I trade because I'm there looking at the screens for hours. Here, when I'm by myself, Doing other projects. I'm about to go out of town soon too. Going to uh, Yellowstone. Going to Utah. Might do some uh, skiing up in Denver. Uh, maybe even Hawaii later on. Having some fun. Enjoying. Uh, could take out a 1500. And we'll take the full amount. I just got to wait for them to adjust my account. Like I've done many times before on stream I am not in the pro plus account yet still and it's okay we're getting paid and maybe I will like the markets to where I can make some more profits get some more daily payouts time to just do this one here and I can take a payout from trade day I've only got like 1500 bucks in there on my new account um, top step I'd had another really good day um, yesterday. I caught a huge runner up. And as I shared in here, I'm letting everybody know that I am taking some time off going out of town. So I let my Discord members stay for free. Everyone go ahead and cancel your memberships. I'm not trying to make money from this Discord stuff. I just put a small fee to keep everybody out. So. Here's a 75k account I'm uh, caught down here at the bottom. I rode it up to there, trailed it. Uh, top step. I had a really big runner again yesterday. Caught the bottom. I held through all of this. And I held the runner up. 6,700. And we got it up to 8,000. It was actually at one point up to like 9,500. But um, I was thinking we we're going to break out 600. And it didn't. And it came back down. I took my profit like... About 5,500 instead of 6,700. So I, I left about a thousand bucks on the table. It, it happens. Um, so yeah, I had a really good day there. Got my take profit trader payouts. So I just put those in like I'd done many times on the live stream. Uh, now I just have to go. And right now the market's still selling off down here at 20,250 psych level area. And just below um, the halfway, and it's popping back up. Might do some trades on the personal. Why wait for them to adjust the take profit? I already got some trades in on the top. <coughs> All right, guys, we are about to open up here. The market is about to open up, trying to get some evening scalps. Um, this is one of my personal accounts here. Yeah, we got 3,500. Took a little payout. Pay myself for the vacation. Gonna be spending some money. Trying to earn some money real quick. Before we hit the road. And do some traveling. Uh, I got my take profit trader here. I got my two accounts. 75k, 100k. This one is... I made 1700 on that drop this uh, morning. And it kept going even further. But I stopped it before it hit the 5k. Because I didn't want it to go... Uh, straight to the live account and I wanted to lock in a daily payout, but damn that shit 
came, as you can see right here, that's a huge candle on the daily. If you're good at spotting bear trends, and if this ain't new to you, then you can definitely make some good money shorting, and I did. <laughs> but yeah, I think I caught like some of this. No, not, no, that's the uh, London Open. Some of this, yes, I definitely caught some of this, and I called it a day, and then I was hung hanging out in Nutty's chat. About to open up here one minute. See if we can get a couple scalps in. I might not trade on this one actually because I want to request my payout tonight. So maybe we'll take some trades on this personal. Try to get a couple scalps in here if we can. It is sitting right at the 20,000 psych level. Big round number. And how has your trading been going, guys? I haven't streamed in a couple weeks. I haven't really chatted with anybody much except for hanging out in Nutty's chat. And uh, I pop into Alpine's uh, channel the too occasionally. Open. Markets are open. Let's go. And I was actually hoping to buy a, the dip here if it gives it to me. I was thinking maybe we dip and pop back up. Excuse me. It might not give me a dip. <laughs> a lot of times when there's trending going on during the day and people that are holding and hoping and waiting for a reversal and they're holding losers back holding losers they get forced down to their positions and the reversal not always but will happen a lot of the times in the evening or the next day or in the london session big money likes to move their money around at weird times catch us off guard not that they're after us little guys but uh they definitely are going against each other big money and middle man this is freaking a massive rip ready to take some trades here any else watching this god yeah that's a nice 50 point rip that was about 40 points actually. What is going on? It didn't even give me a chance to get in. <laughs> and we're going to come and test these levels here. I'm still bearish overall, but we might have an overshoot pop up, a little peekaboo. Maybe break above the high of day here a little bit more. And the spread is not very good right now. This is a live account, so you can see it a little bit better on the spread. You can see here. Where'd it go? Bouncing around. It's gonna... I might catch a short scalp down for maybe 100, 200 bucks, but I'd rather be bullish. Maybe. No, it's still bullish. I'm going to take one short here. Let's go for it. Psych! <laughs> Just messing with you. But Travis is, is pumping up. Why are you going to go against the breakout? <laughs> Alright, I'm doing my old trolling voices here. Haven't been on stream. We're having a little bit of stream withdrawal. Alright, let's see here. If it wants to keep going up, we might actually have a little rally here. It's a little too early to tell. Yeah, nobody's doing we can usually get some nighttime traders on Discord sometimes. Boom! Breaking out. That was a 15 point rip. This could be a fake out though. Do do I dare? Do I dare? Ah, uh, kind of a he didn't give me a second to jump in. I was thinking about taking a little short fade. Um, but, oh, maybe I want to jump in with the trend here. And I'm still bearish overall. I didn't want to mess with the bears much uh, this afternoon. But maybe, I mean, it could be a valid short scalp. And yeah, I missed. I was thinking about doing it up there, but this is looking kind of bullish too. 
It's a strong candle. It'll probably go sideways for a while is what I was expecting. But I am interested in going long. I just wanted to get a good price in before the pump happened. It, usually it'll spike around at the open, even in the, the Globex open. All right, so no trades for me yet. There we go, we're up 10 points from the high of day. Maybe we'll go ahead and buy one here. I think we can go for one more breakout pump. Okay, we're in, one mini. Let's go, see if it wants to continue the breakout. If it does, then we'll have a nice, could have a nice runner up to 20,100. I don't know, it could be a loser too. I have no idea. I'm not a, I don't have a crystal ball. I think it is a valid uh, entry for a continuation pump, at least for high of day for a 10 point. About 10 points. Looking pretty strong on the open. Don't want, you gotta respect the gap, right? Until it starts to crap. I like that, I just came up with that. Respect the gap until it craps. How about that? What do you guys think, you like it? No? Maybe? You don't have to like it, I like it. It's looking bullish still. I have no idea what this is going. Ooh, this could be all the way up here. I could even leave the computer right now. I'm comfortable with this. Even if it comes out to be a loss. And I'm not going to add to the losers. This is how I trade my uh, personal accounts. I try not to DCA as much. I still do, but i just rather just take the hit and hold the runner. And wait for a better trade if it turns out to be a loser uh, back flipping on me doesn't mean that it can't go back up do I dare DCA right now <laughs> no I'm not going to All right, first trade might be a loser, and that's okay. It would be a, a three hundred fifty bucks loser. Three hundred. What do I have this set at? I haven't had a loser in a while. Yeah, it'd be three hundred bucks. I guess the continuation might be ending here. Could just close it out for a hundred and seventy dollar loser, and try. Oh, here we go. Someone hit the sell button right after I got in. Do, 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 do. All right, where are we going? Come back down. Might even fill the, might be a gap crap. Gap and crap. How about that? Let's see here. First trade of the evening. Something about hitting that record button or streaming. It's like, got to take your first trade as a loser. It's not easy. It's easier when you're not streaming or trading live. We're trading live here. Losing money. Not all the YouTubers do it like me. They're just like, well, I'm just going to show all the all the winning trades. We're just showing. This is my personal account here. And. She's gonna be a loser. I might have to just. If this doesn't uh, move for a while, that's gonna suck. I'll just close it out and come back later. I do have a feeling that we might try to have some kind of a bullish retracement back to at least the 2100 area here. If maybe it wants to crash some more later could be some profit taking from all the bears from over the afternoon at the New York session previous session rather alright uh, no big deal 
If we have a losing trade, it's okay. Can't win them all. Nobody does. But Travis, you bought up at the top there. Nobody is a, is a good trader ever ever does that. It was just so obvious, Travis. It was just so obvious you took the... Why did you take that trade? <laughs> I know. That's what people be thinking these... Uh, people who don't know what trading is truly like. Hindsight traders. What did you do that for, Travis? I think it still could pop up here. I might even buy one here. Let's go for it. We're going up for another one. That's going to be a dip and then back to the high of day here. Which is 20 points away, which would give me 400 bucks. Give me back some profit. Potentially. This could just be one big uh, breakout, fake out on the open and then collapse back down. Usually after a trending day, whether it's bullish or bearish, you have some good movement in the Asian session. And I like to try to capitalize on that. Um, yeah, so let's see if this one will uh, work here. I think it's going to pop back up. Maybe we test the 20 EMA and go right back up. This is my first uh, losing trade, really. I didn't have hardly any losing trades in the New York session. I get a losing trade every once in a while. It's okay. I still lose and I still win. As long as your losers aren't catastrophic. That's all that really matters in trading. As long as you don't lose your shoes, coat, and your hat. Off your back. And what do you guys think? Is it going to pop back up here? This might be a double loss here. Get faked out. And a little premature entry again. But I think we're going to go back and test the high of day. I think we're going to have some bullish movement up still. I did have the right idea to go for a short scalp earlier. The one that I was thinking about and hesitated. I should have just took that one. It's okay. Here we go. We're going back up. Can we make some money here? It's looking good for the moment. We'll, go, we'll do a two in. All right, we went in two. Come on, let's go. All right, let's pop back up. One more test of the high of day and beyond. This is very bullish. I think this is just a pullback in the big, bigger picture here. Bounce off the 20,050. No matter what happens, even if I do lose on my accounts, I always take payouts and pay myself. So I put a small amount in a personal account and I pay myself multiple times till I get to house money. This account is already at house money, been at house money for a while. So, you know, I'm trading with no fear here. That's how I like to do it. I'd rather have multiple smaller accounts than having, oh, one big, one big count. My dream account. All right, let's go here. Can we get above 20,050 and shoot back to the high of day? Maybe get a little bit of a rally. Can we go? Can we go? Give me back my 300 and then some. All right, come on. Don't give me that nighttime stalling out trading shit. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my god, now it's dead. Come on, move. I'm 
I might get a little flag pattern here. I'd rather just see it shoot up and break the previous high. I believe you can fly. All right, we're not going to sing some R. Kelly. Hell no. Uh, can you take me high? Wait, no fucking Patrick Whelan took those that song. I I was the one singing that. I know he copied me on that one. All right, let me think of another song. It's not too late to rip it. Rip it good. Boom, 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 boom. Break that high. Dun, 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 dun. Come on. It doesn't like my cheerleading. It's not going to work here. All right. Pull, 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 push it, push it. Not in the mood for a flag pattern here. I want to see Big Master pump up. Come on. We can do it. Here we go. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Come on, man. You can do it. What are you waiting for? Ah, uh, she is boring now. <laughs> All right. Oh, here we go, here we go. Come on, come on. What? Does she got legs? Does she know how to use them? She's got legs. She knows how to use them. No, don't freaking fizzle out here. I want to see the big pump here. Then we'll call it a night. And give me a few hundred bucks at least. just died has it's not moving now stuck here at 20,050 Alright, so we made some trading errors. We uh, hesitated, didn't take the winning trade, then I impulsively got in, thinking we are going to continue. This is just how trading is. Took the loss, saw some confirmation that we were coming back up, jumped in, and then we went in for a second one, and now it's dead. Yeah, good times. All right, here we go. Come on, give me something good. Good scout for some of my loss back, but if we get the pop here, then I'm good. We get up to high of day, 800 bucks. I think we can achieve that.
All right, we're gonna sit tight. There we go. As long as I'm not in drawdown, I'm not too worried about it. Let's go. Nice pump, looking good. Yes, sir. Don't flag pattern me and we'll be good. Break this previous high and this one. Might even make more than 800. Okay, got a reason to hold. Let's go. Come on. All right, don't fizzle out. I'm gonna try to be bold and hold here. I know that it could come back against me, but I wanna give it a chance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Let's go. Come on. Don't be shy. Shish this guy. Don't be shy. Shish this guy. Come on. Oh, baby. Don't do me like that. All right. One more pump up. One more pump up. All right, I think we got it here. One more pump up. Let's go. All right, let's go. We're almost to the point of my previous entry here. If we get above that, that'd be nice. Oh, pump, pump it. Shoot it up. Uh, looks like it doesn't want to. <laughs> uh, maybe we're good. Should I just take one off just for... Just to reduce the risk? We'll do that. Take one off here. Just in case it wants to flag pattern. I'll let the runner go here. chance okay there we go popping back up see if we can get the high of day at least Might stall out here though. <clears throat> All right, there are five points, ten points. Can we do it? See if I had some micros, I could take off eight and just leave two of them, two of them to run, and then just put my stop loss in and close the computer. Who knows what it would give me? I've done that so many times and I catch a nice runner. Alright, this one looks like it's starting to fade. It'll be a fag, uh, flag pattern. Okay, let's see here. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I probably should have just took the off there. Be a, a pre this could be a lower high than 
I'm gonna call it Dory pattern. It took my 200 bucks though. So I could add and be bold and thinking that we might just go ahead and burst, burst up here. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Yeah, we'll give it a chance though. I'm starting to have some doubts. When in doubt, scalp out. All right, we're going to take this one off here. Oops, did not do it in time. All right, uh, it did not, uh, it's not react in time. I could buy again. Bet that we're gonna compress back up. Thinking about it. A little bit of a missed opportunity there. It's okay, it happens. There's no way to avoid that in trading. Sometimes you're gonna miss out. Sometimes you're gonna take your profit early and then it keeps going without you. Sometimes you're gonna take your losing trade thinking, hey, I just need to take my losing trade here and then it goes right back in your favor without you. All those things are unavoidable in trading. It's okay, can't get upset about it, but I might add into my winner right here actually. Let's go for it. Let's do it for the cameras too. Let's do it. I'm not so sure we're going to get the breakout. But we could test one more time. And then it could be the breakout. That would be really nice. Should have took it off when it started to make the U-turn. I wasn't fast enough. I was <laughs> like one second away from just... Closing it all out, um, but that's just me. I feel more pain, uh, more pain by not giving it a chance and seeing it shoot shoot up to the moon without me than, oh, I had a little winner and I didn't take my profit. Yeah, it's annoying, but to me it's more annoying to not give it a chance. So, all right, here we go. We're jumping back in. We got two going here. I still think we could break out and go up here. Come back, test the micro pullback area and shoot up. Could be completely wrong too. So we'll just sit tight. I did leave 200 bucks on the table there. Technically, this is a uh, lower high up there. <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. All right, here we go. See if we bounce. Come on, one more, one more try. Third time's a try. Uh, third time's a charm. Let's go. You yeah. could compress here and go right back down. I want to give it a chance. Come on, let's go. 
Scared money don't make money. One more pump. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Here we go. I still believe. Nice, nice. Let's go. Break above. Yes, slow moving markets. It might be a gap in crap now. Could okay, just take this off right here. Maybe for not much profit, but I'm starting to have my doubts here. sideways are we gonna pop up or not I think about getting out and then going short Kind of at a pivotal area here where it could go either way. This might be a nice pump up here. Then again, it could just fizzle out and drop. Got inside bars, two inside bars. Oh, here we go. Nice. Can we get the breakout? Can we get above it? Get out right here, fuck it. 
and it's probably going to be another lower high and come back down. I just had to take advantage of that quick pop up. I didn't want it to just fizzle out on me and missed another missed opportunity. So we uh, we got out there. All right, that's it for this trading session. Now we made two hundred bucks, <laughs> and it looks like I made the right decision there. A couple of mistakes and a couple of good trades. Um, it could still very well break out here, but um, I got got out in time. A good trade in my mind is getting out of danger. That is a good trade. Get out of danger, and that's what I did. I think it could be another lower high compression. It could break down or it could break out, but um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to move on.